Here and across the country, we have seen demonstrators and law enforcement often shown in opposition. But as Kelloland's Dan Santella shows you on the night beat, that is not always the case. And it wasn't last night in Sioux Falls. Bailey Alberta and Logan Schmidt are proud to have been part of this peaceful demonstration yesterday in downtown Sioux Falls. They also marched to the Empire Mall, where the peaceful protest took an unexpected turn. They threw a rock at a cop and then things kind of got a little violent. When I first got there, there was a guy and he was just like taking these huge rocks and throwing them at the police and he was one of the first people I saw to smash the windows and we went up to him and we were like, excuse me, this is for peace. You, this is not the, the time to be violent. The two took part in a human barricade between law enforcement and those who weren't peaceful. Most of the time we just had our hands in the air and just tried to deflect things that were kind of coming. Me and Bailey kind of communicated to each other to make sure that, you know, if we saw a rock, make sure you're kind of deflecting that. Water bottles deflect them. I have the privilege to say something. People are going to listen to me because of my skin color. I have the responsibility of having my voice, at least in unity with the black people up there as well, protecting and in that human shield. Their words and their actions didn't go unnoticed. A group of protesters who stood in front of us, arms linked. That's, that's the Sioux Falls I know, right? and that's the Sioux Falls we know. And these two peaceful protesters are proud to call the city home. In Sioux Falls, Dan Centella, Kelloland News. Coming up later in the show tonight, in Eye on Kelloland, it's something that you're not going to want to miss. Chief Photographer Kevin Kiergaard, he looks back at all of yesterday's events in Sioux Falls.